Hey guys, back again with another with another video in the Let's Code It series where we're going to be hunting for good strategies on YouTube and we're going to be coding them into MQL. I'll show the coding process as well so we learn. And by coding, we take out in subjective human elements. So when we do the test, we know that the rules are being run 100% of the time. Today, we're going to be looking at an Ichimoku based strategy by TradePro. We supposedly have crazy results. So let's get to coding. So we are in Meta Editor and let's create a new template and we'll call it crazy results best ichimoku trading strategy and we get the template and i'll clean up the template so we're left with initialization function all the codes here are going to be run on the start of the year the initialization codes here are going to be run on the stopping of the year and on tick codes here are going to be run on every tick in mql let's look at the strategy now i'll leave the link below so you can go check out the entire video but there are four conditions that need to be met for us to take a trade and let's look at the buy trade so the price needs to come from below the cloud and close above. So the first condition is whether the price comes and closes above the cloud from below. So we don't want to take a trade here, even though the price is above the cloud. It needs to come from below and close up. The second one is the Tenkan Sen line should be above the Kijun Sen line. The third condition is that the cloud in the future should be green, meaning Senku Spen A should be above Senku Spen B. And the last one is that the Ichi uh, the, the Chiku Sen line should have also come above the, the, uh, the cloud 26 period back. This is 26 period front and this is 26 period back. In the video, all of these conditions got met here on this candle. So we take a trade and then the stop loss goes below the Tenkan Sen line or Kijun Sen line and the, the take profit is 2 to 1. Now, the, now that we know the strategy, let's go back and start coding. First thing first, we need the rules of the strategy and we write them here. You can pause the video and read them. I'm trying to keep the video below 15 minutes, so I'll continue coding. Any of these codes you don't understand, you can go check out my MQL how-to series as well, where I'm talking about these codes in more details on, on, on what they do and how they do it. In order to keep the video short here, I'll, uh, I'll just continue writing the code and explain as much as I can within 15 minutes, but you can go check out the other series on MQL how-to. Now we're gonna be engaging in trade operations. So we need a reference to the trade class, trade.mqh, a file here in the include folder. And we need a, a class ctrade and we create a variable trade that we can use to do trading operations. Next, we're gonna be using the Ichimoku indicator. So we need to use the class trend.mqh by using include and use the CI or the class Ichimoku and create a variable by the name of Ichimoku so that we can get the values for all the lines. Next, I need some user inputs on time frame. I mean, I'm currently defining it as period current. So whichever chart you apply it on, then it's gonna use that chart time frame as time frame. But then at least it's to the user, he can change it. Then I need an input magic number so that we can identify the trades that this EA places. And I'm uh, asking for a risk percentage as well, because every trade, regardless of how big or small the stop loss is, I only want to take 2% risk on every trade. More details in the MQL how-to series, you can go check out uh, that series as well. Now that we have that, the next thing is, because not all of the conditions are gonna be met on a single candle, so we need to check for these conditions and continue to check them until all of them become true for us to take a trade. So I need some bool variables, which are true and false variables. So I'm creating these, these, these eight variables and I'm checking these four conditions. So is the cloud green? Is the cloud red? Future cloud? Is the price above the cloud? Has it come or is it below the cloud? Is Tenkan above or below the, the Kijun? And is the Chiku in the past above the cloud or below the cloud? I'm setting all of them to false at the start of the year. Next, we go to our initialization function and we set the input magic number so that every trade that we place through this EA can be uniquely identified. And we start the Ichimoku uh, indicator by saying this Ichimoku is a new Ichimoku class and saying create it on current symbol, on current time frame, or whatever time frame we're using and give it the values 9, 26, and 52, which are the standard values for Ichimoku. Next, we're gonna be checking every, uh, I mean, I only want to check for conditions on every 
close of a bar or the opening of a new bar i don't want to do it on every take so i'll use the function is new bar there is a video in mql how to series explaining it more and this basically just by using this function here i can int on on in the on tick function i can say if it's not a new bar by calling this function and that if it's not a new bar this means not if it's not a new bar then exit which basically means that all the codes here are only going to be run on a new bar the other function i'm going to need is to calculate lot size based on how big is the stop loss from entry so i'm in SL point. I have a separate video on, on explaining all of these codes, but we're going to be using this this function to calculate the lot size when we are opening up the tray. So now we have the functions we need. So let's go ahead. And on every new bar, what I want to do is I want to refresh the Ichimoku values. Once these values are refreshed, then I want to start creating the variables that I'm going to need. So the first one is on a span A. I want four different values. The first one is for the last bar by using ichimoku.senkuspan a and calling it one bar then i also want the two bar behind so last from last bar and then i want the, the x26 which is the 26 bar behind so that then i can check that the chiku has come above and i also want the value of 26 bars in future and i'm calling it f26 for future which is basically minus 26 so looking ahead in time i need the same for span b as well and we need again these four values because we're going to be checking values on the current uh, Ichimoku bars and cloud but also on future and also in the past. Then for Tenken Sen and Kijun Sen I only want the value of the last bar and for Chiku line I need the value of the last of the 26 bars behind. This one I'm going to be checking versus the span A and span B of 26 bars behind to see whether Chiku is above or below and this minus 26 which is the future value i'm going to be using to check whether the future cloud is red or green then i need the closing values of the last two bars because what i need to check is that the last from last bar was under the cloud or in the cloud and that the last bar opened above the cloud so that the price has now moved above the cloud so that we can open up a trade so now let's just start checking the conditions and not all conditions are going to be met on the same candle so we need to continue checking them until all of them become true the first one is whether the cloud is green or red in the future and this we can check by using the future values of span a and span b if span a in the future is above to span b then the future cloud is green so it's true and red is false and if it's if span b is bigger than span a in the future 26 bars then red is true and green is false then we check whether the price has come above the cloud and it has to come above the cloud from below so what we need to check is that it was false before and that the last from last candle close was either below span a from last to last bar or below span b last from last bar which means it was in the cloud at that point in time or below the cloud so either of these conditions this is why i'm using or either of these conditions are true that means that it was below it was not above at least and then we check that the close of the last candle is above both span a of last candle and span b of last candle if this is true then the price has come above the cloud which is true and then we set it to false the reverse is for below you can pause the video and look but it's basically the code in reverse then the next thing we check is that if Tenken is above Kijun or is it below Kijun? So if Tenken is above Kijun, the variables that we have defined earlier, then it's true for Tenken above Kijun and false for below. And the reverse is true if the Tenken is below Kijun. Then we need to check that Chiku, 26 bars in the past, is above the bar, is above the cloud. So we need to check that Chiku is above span A, 26 bars behind and span b 26 bars behind the chiku has come above the cloud 26 bars behind and same is true for the below where we check the conditions in reverse the last thing we need to check is so far we have checked whether the price is above the cloud or below the cloud but there can be a situation where the price is inside the cloud so we check for that condition by saying if if span a is above span b and the close is above span b but below span a then it means the price is in the cloud in which case we want to set both of these to false and then if span b is above the span a then if the close is above span a but close 
is below a span B, then it means it's still in the red cloud. And in that case, we set both of these to false as well. We need to check this for Chiku as well, that Chiku can also be within the cloud. And we check it by doing exactly the same, but only looking at a span A and span B 26 bars behind. So if there is a span 26 bars behind, if span A is above span B, it's a green cloud. And then if Chiku is above span B and below span A, then it's in the cloud. So we set it to false and then vice versa. And now because there are so many conditions, so I want to put on the chart itself a comment where we can see all of these, whether they are true or not for the buy and true or not for the sell. I'll leave, I'll make another video on MQL how to, on, on, on how to use comments. For now, you can just copy paste this code. So now that we have everything, we can now go and check for the buy. And the, we say the buy condition is basically that if all of the conditions are true that we need, then entry is the last candles close. The stop loss is going to be below the key Junsen line, let's say 50 points, five pips. The DP is going to be whatever is the entry, plus entry minus a stop loss times two, so that we get a two to one risk and reward. And we're going to calculate the lot by using the calculate lot function that we have created by passing on the distance of stop loss from the entry. And because entry is bigger than a stop loss, so it's entry minus stop loss. So we go ahead and place by using trade function, the buy and pass on the information to then open up the trade. Once the trade is open, I want to set all the conditions to false. And this is why I'm creating a function and calling it by saying set all conditions to false so that we have to check again whether these conditions become true. So here is the code for that, set all conditions to false. Now for the sell trade, we need the reverse, which is basically all of these conditions are true, then the entry is close, close of the last candle, but now stop loss is key to plus 50 points, entry is going to be entry minus, stop loss minus entry, because stop loss is above the entry, times two, and for calculate lot, we also use stop loss minus entry because stop loss is bigger than or is above the entry. And then we open up the trade cell and we set all the conditions to false again. Let's compile it. We don't have any errors. We only have uh, warnings because of the comments that we have written here because of the year. So let's go ahead and run it. And here we see the four conditions for buy, four conditions for sell. At this point in time, these three are true, this one is false, and this is why we're not taking trade. Why is price above cloud false? Is because we need to check whether the price comes from below and above. When our EA started, it didn't come from below. So we started at false. So we run it, and let's wait until we get the first trade. Now here at this point, three of our sell conditions are met, I think. Uh, is basically that your the price has come from above to below so it's true Tenkan needs to go below the Kijunsen line and it become true now the future cloud is still not red now it's red and as soon as the Chiku came below then we open the trade so when all four conditions were met we open up the trade and we let the trade run and see whether or not it hits the take profit and now we, I'm gonna pause the video until we have a buy trade so now here we have all three conditions met we're waiting for chiku to also come above all the other three are true now tenkan is above the kijun cloud we have exit the cloud up it became false again because it went inside the cloud now we're up again so three are true chiku is false and as soon as chiku came above we open up the trade as well now let's see if this trade goes and hits either the tp or the stop loss i'll make it quick seems like it's going in the direction that we want it to go oh it's coming back now i need the videos 15 minutes or less so i'm gonna stop once this trade finishes and here we go so we have the buy trade as well successfully finishing which is two times the risk to reward our risk was two percent so we get four percent now guys i'm trying to keep these videos to 15 minutes i don't know whether or not keeping this to 15 minutes is making it too difficult to follow if that is then leave a comment behind i'll also link in the description all the videos that i'm referencing to give me some comments around okay how we can improve this the idea is basically let's test the strategies from youtube let's code them and see whether some of them are profitable and that we can use them later on also go check out my mql seller profile where i have my eas listed and I'll come back with more videos in the future. 
um, cheers until next time